Okay, so they do have, well, we don't need it, fortunately. Dump stations. Dump station. But I do believe it's gonna be your first, um, not you know, not here, but that first left. Okay. We're gonna have to move sites on Friday for the weekend. But we asked uh, the guy in the kiosk and he said, cancellations will be coming in. He says, just check. He says, there's a little notify me box and that did us well at one time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a shot and um, that way we would get notified if there's a cancellation for a full hookup spot. So we have the full hookups two nights and then we have the electric only for three nights. We were down this row last time but the trees were all barren and it was early, early spring. This is nice, all green. So different, huh? Mm -hmm. So different. So that was our spot last time right there. B20. B20. Gosh, it is so lush right now. It's gonna be nice, babe. B26 is a nice spot. We'll go get settled and then show you guys the place. Well, today's moving day, not travel day, moving day. It's travel day. We're traveling about a block. Actually, to the other side. Yeah, literally. I mean, as the crow flies, we're probably moving about 100 yards. Yeah. But we gotta go down the road, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes what you gotta do. Yeah. I mean, this place is fully booked. Fully booked. So we were saying Michiganders like to camp. So do Ohioans. Yeah. Ohioans, <laughs> Ohioans. How uh, do you it, say that? Is that right? We need to ask our son. We need. Uh, we should know this information. But let's show you guys this site just in case you're interested. This is um, a full hookup site. What is the site? B26, I think. B26. Got a camping table. You had a nice area for your mat. You actually even have a um, little, you know, concrete pad there. And. This path walked back to bathrooms, which was, you know, which was fine. We didn't need to use it because we had the full hookups. And very nice and secluded, just so quiet. There is another loop down there, but it's just really, really, really quiet. And uh, wow, two chains. The chain game. That's your new necklace. Come on. All right, so we're gonna ride our bikes over to the new site, chain them up and start moving. It's only 11.20 and we just checked and no one's there. We got our new ticket to move into that. So anyhow, all right, let's go do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bathroom. There's the new site. That's all our stuff. There was someone here last night and they left us a candle. How nice of them. Our only concern about this site was that our little grandkids are coming tomorrow and that it's a little bit more of a busy thoroughfare because it goes to a whole nother section of the campground and then a launch ramp. And with this place being booked this weekend, we kind of anticipate a lot of traffic, but it's only 10 miles an hour. It, this campsite is really set back from the from the street and look at all that space. So I think we're gonna be just fine. So what I'm super excited about, there's activities. There's actually, they have a scavenger hunt that we can uh, go do with our grandkids. So I picked up that sheet today. I just turned it off. And then to see, well, tonight, they or this afternoon, actually, they have beginning archery. We're not gonna partake in that. There's bike trails, there's hike trails, there's a playground for the kids, there's a mini golf. So, so stay tuned. We got lots of fun things in store during our family time. She's hitting me with a lot. <laughs> have some other things we gotta do today. Stan has to go get the oil changed. Man. 
I thought I just did it. Well, this time I'm you taking did. it. I'm taking it to the dealer. I actually did my first oil change here when we first got the truck. And it had 7,000 right. miles on it, and so I'm going back there and have them ch change my oil again. So that's kind of cool. That's cool. It's only like five miles. So. What did you get it down to this time? I think it's at zero percent. Oh my god. Too many miles, guys. I was trying to think of how much, how many miles we went on our South Dakota. That was 6,800 miles, right? That sounds right. Yeah. I think that was our South Dakota trip, 6,800 miles. It's hard to believe that we're probably going to do close to that. Um, over 13,000 miles on our new tires. On our new uh, Goodyear Endurance tires. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, on the trailer. On the trailer. Yeah, that's crazy. And, uh, I was just thinking about that. I go, man, if I if I had the Westlakes on, they'd be barking at me to change it again. But these Goodyears are looking good. So we're, we're going to have close to, my gosh, another 13,000 miles just this year. Maybe next year we'll stay a little closer to home. Maybe it's just a couple states away. Maybe we don't travel across the country. Well, we'll see what take happens. Take a break, you know, know, from the long distance travel and then just stay close. I know we still we still have the whole eastern coast to do. Um, we still have Florida, Florida and actually all the, the, the Gulf of Mexico area, yeah, right? I mean, all southern. those states, the southern states. Um, but I don't know. We'll we, ha get, we have no plans for next year yet. We'll, we'll get to it. Um, we're going to bust out of here on Monday morning early. And we're going right. to rip out to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're not going to do it in one fail swoop, but we're going to be traveling some some, some hours. So yeah. there's not going to be a whole lot of videoing except uh, road miles. And so I think we're going to do six, six, and six. I think it's pretty close to what we're going to be doing, or six and a half and six. But uh, some of our longest just to make the Albuquerque yep. Balloon Festival. I don't know if Ronan already told you. Did you already tell him? I think I told him. Yeah, but we're going to probably put something out on social media let yeah, everybody know we're we heading that way but yeah it was just a unexpected thing we weren't we tried to get tickets you know because we knew we were going to be heading back around that time um, but they were all booked up so and then all of a sudden boom it came into our lap and not only that we're helping uh, somebody yeah. with their balloon yeah that's what's fun we uh, didn't know that when we and so mm -hmm. he needed help so we graciously uh accepted Volunteer. we're like yeah so, why not of course we're so we'll there. see some neat stuff happening let's go this way guys we're gonna walk to the new place this time all right so while he's driving over there we're gonna walk over and uh me and the dogs we'll see who wins he's probably gonna win because kobe doesn't walk too fast these days no like we said we feel so blessed to have gotten a site we actually reached out to our friends chuck and sherry who have in route with chuck and sherry and we met up with them oh a year and a half ago i guess when we were out here and we're like are you guys going to be out here because they camp all over ohio and they share a bunch of different campgrounds state campgrounds local campgrounds um they're always on the go they're like weekend warriors so we thought hey are you guys going to be here by chance? Because they love Alum Creek. And they said they tried to get in and they couldn't find a spot. So we feel, and we got it last minute, as you guys know. We've just kind of winging it this whole time. As you guys know, we are, uh, we go hard when <laughs> we go out. We'll be gone. Actually, this trip is going to be two months. A two-month trip, which is probably going to be our longest yet. I think we did a seven-week. We've done a couple six-week. But this is our longest. Eight weeks is our longest. And uh, I think we're getting a little weary. We were really <laughs> in prayer this morning for a second wind. And um, as wonderful as everything is, it's just you start getting a little tired. Come on, let's go. We're winning. Okay, we're here. Let's pull them in. Let's go this way, guys. This is our new home. We'll check and see if we're level. Our funny little level mate. 
our Level Mate Pro Manual Edition. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the only way it works is that if you you gotta keep you gotta keep it on there. But when it starts popping, what do you remember to do? Shake, shake, shake. shake. Ooh, let's see what happens. Uh, Hi. Hi. Hi, Abby. What do you got to say? I know. <laughs> There's mommy. Do you see mommy through there? It's like a magic wand. Hi. Hi, mommy. Okay, hold on. Oh. Can you see it popping? It's going to get really big. So I turned it on. Oh, you sure did, you little stink pot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little stink pot. Who's a stink pot? Who's a stink pot? I like it. What's happening? Can't get better. Ooh. Hop down real quick. Let's go get it. Let's go get a picture of it. <laughs> now hold it. Hold it. Put hold it over there so you see what happens. Can you see it in there, right there? Whoa! Is it happening? I remember Jiffy Pop being, um, <laughs> cooking a little faster than that. Man, they make you wait for this popcorn. Is it hot? It's not bad. It's not good. <laughs> We're gonna head up to the playground. All right, is that your favorite? All right, okay. almost coming. Does it look clear? All right, clearance, clearance. Let's go. Oh, the nature center already open. That's cool. Huh? Yeah, of course. Beautiful. They're all moths. I think I'd freak out if I saw a moth that size. Oh. These are the stages. Oh yeah, you're right. These are homemade chocolate chip pancakes, right? Mm -hmm. With the Hershey's chocolate chunks that we put in there. Hey, when you don't have chocolate chips, you gotta improvise. Wow, those look delicious. <gasps> and homemade maple syrup that friends that we made at the rally made us from their maple trees. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, that is amazing syrup. We <laughs> we closed up our trash last night. Something unzipped it and got into the trash. I think they ate the burnt popcorn. Ew. That burnt popcorn was disgusting. <laughs> Lizzie was not a fan of the popcorn. Ooh, oh. Oh, good morning. Today is travel day. <laughs> it's like whenever I come back, it's like, today is travel day. Well, it is travel day. And we're finally turning around and heading home. Uh, but we're not going home because as you guys well know, we're heading to the Albuquerque, New Mexico Balloon Festival. So we're pretty excited about that. But let me show you this um, campsite that we're in. Uh, you can just see it's just, it's Alum Creek in Delaware, Ohio. Big, huge, it's a Corps of Engineers State Park, but it's just huge. And you're gonna continue to see how big it is. It's got great big sites. You really can't see usually your other person. And this is, electric only 
and when we kind of squeezed in here it was like oops we didn't check to see if the slide so but we were a little close but we made it but you're in the trees and the lake is just right down the street and i don't know if you have heard of this place but it's a great stop if you see where that railing is that's the lake so it's a short walk to the lake if you like fishing or whatever you can fish right there it's really nice um got the truck already loaded gosh i am like beyond myself the truck is a mess but um i should have cleaned it uh because it's going to be nice weather for a few days but i have experienced that every time i wash the truck it rains but there you go um you see how close we are to that i thought i cleared it but i didn't it was just really really close so anyway all these spaces are really really nice this is one is just electric only you know that we want to show you the one before and that we had uh, hookups that was really really good too folks who have been checking out the our camping flag and they've been following us really cool uh a little kid actually came up and he thinks everyone on youtube is is um, is famous not <laughs> or is a celebrity not we're just no, normal regular people uh, just sharing our lives this over here is like used to be uh, has some historical value it used to be old schoolhouse or whatever i guess and cemetery but gonna be a beautiful morning this morning it's gonna be uh in the 80s again today and as we go we're going to brownstown but see just down from our our campground is this so we, we're about 2,000 miles away looks like i'm not going to make 7,000 miles but it's going to be really close but <clears throat> really close so we're gonna head from here and bonsai out to Albuquerque, New Mexico. But what do you guys think? Isn't that a great, beautiful setting? So let's see what Rhonda's up to. I think she's getting everything together. What are you doing? Uh, finishing up the kitchen. Good morning. Morning. I'm almost done. I have to sweep and get everything out and then we can pull the slide in. Travel day. Travel day. We are really heading home now. We're on the 70 westbound. Still that, in Ohio. That's what you always say. <laughs> it kind of feels good. We told you guys that uh, this is going to be our longest trip yet. It's going to be eight weeks by the time we're home. I think two, actually, I think a little bit more than that. And no, it will be. It'll be like eight weeks and three days or something like that. It might be the eight, right to the 14th. So we left on August 14th. Today is October 2nd. Wow, that's crazy. And we did a lot. How many miles are we at now, do you know, for our trip? Stan predicted 7,000 miles. So we're 2,000 miles away from home. We've already traveled 4,700 miles. Wow. So it's going to be really close. We've told you guys we're going to go to the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. We get to help. We have no idea what we're doing, but well, we helped a little bit at the Havasu one, like a little bit, but we're, uh, we're excited. We're just going to be hands on deck, you know. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to go up. I'm, ta I'm going to, if we get to go, if he offers, I'm going to, I think we should do it. If he offers to take us up, I, I would go up. It scares me to death because I don't like heights. But I think it, we don't even know what kind of balloon this guy has. I mean, you know, they always have the characters. And Dale. The, what is it? His da name is Dale. Dale. We've already reached out to him. You've heard from him and we're going to like meet for dinner or something like that I think supposedly on Friday night so okay so that's the sixth three four five yeah that'll be the sixth of October so that's the day that we get in 
then the fiesta actually starts on saturday so it'll start on the 7th and um, why are you calling it a fiesta that's what they call it it's not a festival mm -hmm. it's a balloon fiesta oh yes that is the correct terminology wow okay. yeah yeah so i learned something new there's a whole schedule of events i think as we get a little closer we'll start trying to figure all that those details out but we worked on our trip to Albuquerque last night on Trip Wizard, our favorite planning tool. So what I did is I put in from where we were at, at Alum Creek in Ohio, and then I put in the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta Park, they call it, and it was 1,482 miles. So we just kind of figured out we got to be there. We got five drive days, actually. Four nights and five drive days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We don't want to drive too much on that Friday because then we got to get in, get set up, and um, go to dinner and all that. So we're going to do about a six-hour drive day today, I think it is. But we're staying in Brownstown, Illinois tonight, which is, there's no destination there's nothing probably there to see it looks like it's in farmland but it was a super uh, high rated park by RV trip wizard users and uh, RV life users so we I think it was like 8.2 stars out of 10 so that's pretty high and and like almost a hundred reviews so that's really good so we're gonna do that we called the gal last night was one of those that you don't make reservations online so we called her and she actually was driving home and answered the phone it was super nice and they have a pull through full hookup site for us so we haven't had full hookups for the last two th three nights and then uh, so this would be kind of nice just to have a good a good flesh our time with our family was such a blessing they've just embrace this little family and it's busy but it's such a blessing and we got to spend time with them they came out our granddaughter actually stayed the night with us one night at the camp ground and I, I probably shared with you guys I was really hopeful because she wouldn't she goes not without mom and dad last year when she was like just turned six she's like I'm not gonna stay without mom and dad and we're like well mom and dad aren't staying there's nowhere to fit a six foot four guy in our trailer Allen Creek had a fabulous activities for families and we didn't partake in half of the things but we had we were busy so we did the mini golf and it was just you know, it's just okie dokie. It's a little outdoor Here's your special video. word. Sufficient. <laughs> a seven year old didn't know any different. She had a great time. You know, it didn't have any fancy windmills or any, any obstacles like that. But we had a great time. And we had rode our bikes there. And then we actually got ice cream. They had ice cream. And then she found a little stuffed animal that she had to have. So Alma and Opa had to buy it for her. We did a scavenger hunt. They actually put a scavenger hunt. They have like 10 things, they give you one clue. And then you go to that place and then you find that and then you you put down the answer then they give you another clue and you go to the next place and she had so much fun doing that and opa found a special little secret place she calls it bushwhacking <laughs> going through the bushes and so we we went through the secret pathway and oh my gosh she just had a ball we met little michael who was in third grade and then his little brother dominic who was in first grade and the mom and dad were Julia and Doug and they were just so friendly and nice and such a such a fun we got to take a picture with them and uh, they were when they were going fishing those were the ones that thought well, we were celebrities and yeah. said, no we're not <laughs> yeah they said the we're little just boy regular people he said anybody on YouTube he felt like was a celebrity so we felt like superstars you know and a kid and then we took him stickers and then just, I don't know, it was just so cute because he was just this little kid and every time we would go by, hi, because we have our flag out front. And so it's, you know, they has the quick response code and it says, follow us on YouTube. Oh, he said, when he gets home, he is gonna subscribe. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so thank you, Michael.